that I'm not going to cook, but this is a lot of red herring. Welcome back to Stuck and Anana. I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. I'm getting uncomfortable. <laughs> All right guys, so actually in today's dish what we're gonna be doing is something that was basically spoken to me by a subscriber. So we had a whole discussion about breadfruit and the subscriber was like, yo, in his country, what, or her, I don't remember who said it. <laughs> Drop in the comments if you're the one who said it. In their country, they actually do a stuffed breadfruit. And I was just like, yo. Then another subscriber said to me that, they wanted me to do like a, a red herring type of rundown type of thing. I was like, mmm. So I'm going to put two subscribers' ideas into one dish. It's going to be a stuffed breadfruit with a red herring rundown. Has it ever been done before? I don't know, but you're seeing it here today. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so the start of the dish today basically is going to be smoked red herring. As it says, what you're going to get is a very salty, um, smoky kind of flavor. Right now it's extremely salty because I guess it's been cured. So what I'm going to do is to basically boil this out first to remove all the excess salt. Then it's going to actually, you know, release the skin of the fish so I can debone it a bit. And then that's going to be the simple part of it. And there's a lot of it. As you look, red herring as itself is so, it's so small. So you need to get like a lot of the fish. So basically, what I'm going to be doing right now is to just cut up all these seasons. The red herring is the only thing that really needs to cook up. The vegetables, as you know, herbs and vegetables don't have to be overdone. So we're going to cut these up so we can stuff them into the breadfruit. And that basically is our bowl that is something that we're going to be using. Just typical Jamaican herbs and spices. And that's going to be put with the rundown, well, the mackerel actually, with some coconut milk. All right, let's get into getting the breadfruit ready. All right, so now we have the breadfruit stock is being removed. Ah, this is going to be tricky. All right, what I'm going to do is just to take off a bit at the top. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So the top is off. Um, with the breadfruit, this section here is what we call the heart. So we're just going to remove that way. We're trying to not waste too much of the breadfruit, but still get some stuffing in there. So, all right, let's do that. So basically my cousin really helped me to pick all of these just in, you know, the matter of time. And this is the last one. So basically what you're doing, I mean, they have so many fine bones here, but the bones are like almost like hair follicles. They're not that 
you know it's not that bad so if you see some in your plate no problem and all you do is just get the meat from the skin and to be quite honest I think I kind of um, messed up a little bit with the flavor you know when I do my videos I tell you exactly you know what happened so normally some person say you should you should um, soak it in some water and then boil it well I boil it only once and the salt level isn't as strong but no problem I can just add salt to it it still adds still has the um the smoky flavor and stuff but yeah so drop in the comments tell me how you guys get your salt out of the red herring do you boil it do you only dip it in water let me know all right so we have our bread fruit that's done so to be quite honest it's not the most practical I don't think this is the most practical kind of dish because you can't really stuff a lot of stuff into this but it's fun definitely fun so we're going to be doing is a rundown separately but we're going to do some of it inside of the breadfruit as well to see how it works because you know you're cooking you know experiment have some fun so i'm gonna drop some of the seasoning in some of the red herring i'm gonna stuff it i'm gonna compress everything so some more of the seasoning some more red herring compress it some more some of the seasoning Some red herring. Oh, it's about to rain. Oh, it is raining. Some of the seasoning. Some of the red herring. So now I'm gonna add some coconut oil into that. And since this is the first time I'm doing this, I'm gonna add some coconut milk to see if that's going to rise or something. I don't know. Make it stop the gaps. Okay, not bad. A bit more red herring. So to be quite honest, once you press it in, like it takes a lot of everything. Like I don't think I could do a um a red herring this separate because everything is fitting. I'll just take some of it home. Your herring that I'm not going to cook, but this is a lot of red herring and coconut milk. Look at all the juices. I'ma use a last of my seasoning. Put on top. I can get just a little bit more coconut milk because steam is what's going to be doing everything here and then I'm going to put the lid on oh look at the coconut milk going off in truth I wanted to have like two picks to kind of hold that on tightly but no problem That was hard. Yo, the thing they always do just for the fun night. <laughs> Hold on, watch your watch your cover. Watch it, you know, the, the roof drop off. The lid of the bed fruit, yeah. Yeah, man. Some of the fish skin, of course, is for this little one here. More coffee with this. Yeah, I know. My cousin is hell bent that he should take it off right now because we are both hungry. We are so hungry. It's light. That's a good sign. Quick, 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 quick
boom. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. Watch out now, just put it down. We don't, we don't matter about the little ashes and then we can something there. Because we're not up to all down there. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Wow. So we will just cut it and then you know, see what's up. Oh, yes. So it's almost like you get little balls <laughs> of just breadfruit. So to finish it off, what we're gonna do is of course add some butter. You guys know already, breadfruit and some butter are problem. And then just a little drizzle of Coconut milk, coconut oil, sorry. And that's it. Right, let's get my cousin's reaction. Mm. That was a good idea. I don't remember who dropped it in the comments or... Because this whole idea came from... Um, mm. This whole debate of people telling me how I should do breadfruit and this is not how they do it in Jamaica and whatever the case is and the person was just telling me hey people do things differently in every place right wow. and they introduced me to their country's way of doing their breadfruit stuffing it and whatever and trust me it's different from what I've ever seen in Jamaica if it's done out here I've never seen it but if it is drop it in the comments but yeah well worth the effort and there's a, yeah, I thought before like we couldn't stuff so much in there, but it can take a stuff in. Oh, that was flavors, man. Oh my gosh. All right, me I'm gonna start now, so call me way longer. All right, so I'm just getting my butter all over that. I'm gonna scoop that yellow thing there with some pepper. Oh, jeez, this is like heaven, bro. Why would that take so long for this? Uh, <laughs> hey, watch out. It is so perfect. Like the breadfruit is like it's almost like a, a mashed potato. It's so soft and buttery. I literally can taste the pepper inside of the breadfruit itself. It's like all the milk just soak way into the breadfruit. Mm -hmm. And it just steamed just so perfectly. And then the red herring had an extra smokiness. It's like the smoke from the fire and then the smoke from the freaking red herring is just like double smoke man I'm high already if you get the pun <laughs> it's really good guys try this at home I must say it's a bit time consuming to to hollow out the um whatever but the flavor the uh, bro you can do this with aki anything man Cut out your bed food. I don't think you go back from that. Think that man. Yeah, man, eat that man. That man have the time in his life. <laughs> That's got you on the pit for my hand. Alright, so I basically just ate half for breadfruit, so I eat it all half. But this is like literally bare bones, like everything. <laughs> so good. After today, I am holding no breadfruit arguments with nobody. <laughs> because your <yeah>, breadfruit. 
If you can tell, I'm so pleasantly surprised with this breadfruit. Like, let me tell you guys, yo, give me some more cool recipe ideas for me. I'm different from a lot of other persons where it don't matter what the recipe is. If it sounds feasible, I'll try. I'll never just knock it. Even though in my head I was just like, yeah, the concept sounds kind of cool, but I've never seen it done before. But we did it today and it was awesome. Anyway, guys, try it at home. Tell me what you think. And remember, picking out the right breadfruit is super, super important. Kiana picked out a really nice breadfruit, nice size, perfect roasting breadfruit. Anyway, guys, remember these three things love, nature, adaptation, and always remember, keep the link.